This is Path of Exile. I'm Eki. Um, I just turned level 33 as my witch, uh, which means I got a new skill point. I'm currently going for the uh, plus one maximum number of specters, and I'm going for the minion life as well. So it looks like next level I'll be able to have one more specter, which would be pretty sweet. And uh, I've completed all the quests for this act. Um, so now it's kind of just a matter of, I guess, trying to find where Act 4 is. Uh, hoping it's one of these question marks up here. Uh, so let's take a waypoint. And probably head over to uh, the barracks. Um, so I've started clearing out most of this area um, earlier in uh, one of these videos. And, uh, kind of got towards the next area up here, but and the mobs up there are pretty tough, so I took a little bit of a break and went over to the docks and uh, killed a bunch of dudes over there to try and get some more XP. So now that I'm level 33, I'm hoping that's going to be high enough to uh, kind of get through this next area. Or at least get to the waypoint um, so I can get back easier. Uh, but while I've got this whole area cleared out, I'm going to hope to possibly get there. So this is the Imperial Gardens. Um, and uh, so, as a safety um, mechanism here, I'm going to make a town portal. Because uh, I'm probably gonna die, so hopefully this will give me an easier way to get back to this area. And uh, I have no minions, uh, which is bad news, so I'm gonna hopefully try to kill something or find a dead body or something. Uh, because I'm a little bit under level here. Looks like the monster level is 33. Uh, and I'm 33, so let's see if we can take these guys down. We've got an avian wretch. Looks like some kind of bird type thing. I'm gonna take him over as a specter there. And uh, once I get that skill unlocked, I can make two of those guys. Pokepine with a life. Looks pretty cool. But there's a zombie. And this guy's a zombie. And this guy's a zombie. So I'm gonna make some zombies there. Up that regal orb. Gotta get chunk of dudes here, so I'm gonna start making this area. Oh, fall back. Uh, the witch is a pretty weak class, so I gotta stay out of the way of everything uh, and just try to keep, kite everything around and keep a good range. Uh, looks like my chance to ignite gem just leveled up too, so that's pretty cool. So now my um, Rain of Fire here does a should have an extra chance to ignite the bombs, which do more damage and set them on fire and stuff. So I'm gonna kill this avian wretch here, and I'm kind of noticing I'm doing a little bit better now that I've gotten. Uh, I think I tried this originally when I was level 30. And, uh, now that I'm level 33 and the monsters are level 33, it kind of feels like I'm a little bit more even playing field here. Um, so it does seem like levels make a difference in this game. So there's a kind of shrine here. Um, I'm not sure what that gave me. Your hits have a knock knockback. Since I'm kind of concerned. So it's supposed to, they're supposed to stun too. So that shrine gave me a little bit of extra power for my spells, it looks like. Uh, and these statues aren't really much of a match for me, so I took them both down. I'm gonna make some zombies out of them. Uh, and then we need to, uh... Try to bait them. Whoa! Someone just busted out of the ground there. Oblivion stock. Uh, I'm gonna just shoot a bunch of fireballs out of it. He's gonna kill me, so I'm gonna fall back a little bit here. Try to keep making 
skeletons and zombies uh, to my retreat here. And I need some more mana. Effect up there. I'm a little bit low on mana, so I drink some mana points. Oh man, that guy just kind of tumbled over to me. And it looks like he's regenerating his health uh, pretty fast there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him. Can we drop to the corner? These are not looking good for me. I don't like this area, so I'm just gonna run away. I'm running, I'm just gonna pretend like I was never here. Uh, which is equally bad idea. I'm not sure if that tunnel worm is gonna let me live. Uh, so I'm gonna just kind of fall back as much as possible. Yeah, he's just gonna follow me forever. He's the oblivion stock, and that's what he does. Uh, so I don't think I'm gonna live through this. Used all of my health thoughts. Um, maybe try and get this frame real quick. Oh man, run away. So, looks like he has some kind of life regeneration, um, which is making things very difficult for me to kill him. Uh, maybe if we get some more skeletons up, it'll help. Running really low on health. Uh, his health recharges too fast for me to for me to kill him. So not sure what to do about this. This Oblivion stock is probably the hardest mob I've fought so far. Uh, not really sure what to do here. Just gonna kind of wait a little bit and recharge my health. some more damage. And maybe try to keep some of the aggro off me. Because I can't take very much more damage because I don't have any health pots left. I'm not sure how good I'm doing here. This guy is not... This is impossible. Uh, his life is just regenerating too fast. I don't even know how I died there. Um, it looks like he just killed me with his mind. <laughs> so... Um, I think I'm kind of stuck here. I'm not really sure... I can get past this guy. Let's uh, spare her one more... portal here, and then I'm gonna probably give up if I die again. Uh, and I guess go back to the docks, go back to the drawing board. I'll try and maybe sneak around the wall here. No! Oh no. Oh man, this is not good. Oh man. Oblivion stock is gonna stalk me for Oblivion. I'm never gonna defeat him. It's gonna be like the thousand year war here. And then he goes underground. Oh man, this is awful. I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna beat this guy. I should just give up. I should just give up. Oblivion stock wins. Icky zero. Oblivion stock. Over 9,000. Let's make a zombie. Not gonna give up. Not giving up yet, Oblivion stock. You and me are gonna go at it here for a little bit. If I can just kill him, then I hope this guy drops something really awesome. The strategy seems to be working. Skeletons as I'm shooting fireballs at him. Uh, as long as he's not hitting me, I'm doing I'm usually okay. Uh, but it looks like he's not able to take these skeletons down, so I'm gonna keep on surrounding him with skeletons. Uh, and Oblivion stock is down to 30% health. So I'm not gonna get overconfident though. Don't go away yet, Oblivion stock. We're not done. Those skeletons up, I think. That, so I just lost a little bit of a little bit of time there. He regen like half his health. Uh, yeah, keep on making skeletons. Keep on shooting fireballs. Make sure I don't run out of mana. Uh, and try to take him down. Oh man, come on! He's so close. I got him down to almost 30% health here. Uh, 
It doesn't look like he wants to get any lower than that. Um, so we're just gonna try to take him down. Out of mana pots. Uh, and the skeletons are just not doing it for me. And Oblivion stock is gonna come out triumphant again. And I'm just, uh, there's nothing I can do about this. There he goes. He's back with half his health. I should just give it out this point because Oblivion Stock is just not going to let me win. He's not going to let me win. It's not okay with him. So I'm just going to try and run away, maybe. Alright, Oblivion Stock, I submit. You are the victor. Just let me through this area. Um, and we can be bros. It'll be totally cool. We can hang out. Um, you know. I'll like buy you a beer or something, and just totally chill, it'll be fun. Uh, so, you know. So it seems like reasoning with uh, Oblivion stock was a good idea. Because he seems to have left me alone there. Uh, but it looks like now I own him a beer, so I'm not gonna... I'm not sure how that's gonna work out. Oblivion stock here. But I'm gonna die because I have no health pots and the archer is just gonna take me out. So let's just keep on going. And now Oblivion stock is probably gonna find me again, which is just awful news. I'm gonna try and maybe go up this way. Pretty sure I made a deal with Oblivion Stock that you know if he um, let me live and just let me through this area that I would buy him a beer or something. Uh, and I'm a man of my word, so I'm gonna these days I'm gonna see Oblivion Stock hanging out somewhere and be like, hey man, really appreciate you letting me get through that area. So here's a beer. And I think that'll go over well. It's like there's a devourer over here. It's like a Oblivion Stocks uh, weaker version of him. But uh, let's just keep on going because it looks like we've successfully tricked Oblivion Stock into letting us live. I uh, have no intent of actually buying the beer. Uh, so. Jokes on him. Uh, so I'm not really sure if that's generally a safe idea to bring one of those guys into a bar. You know, but like, you could just tunnel out, out of nowhere and you know start stalking somebody else, which is no good. So we're just gonna hurry affect all these guys and try and take them down. We've got some avian wretches. And uh, a couple of porcupine goliaths. Which are uh, going out pretty easy. So I'm just gonna go on and kill them and make this porcupine into a stock or a spectre. some kind of doorway here, which is very promising. The hedge maze. That sounds like an awful place. Um, so let's go in there. Alright, so this is probably a pretty good place to uh, cut the video here. I'm going to make a town portal uh, for safety. And uh, cut the video. And so, at this point, uh, I've got a little bit more area to explore up here uh, to try and get out of Act 3 and to start Act 4. Uh, so for our next video, hopefully we'll maybe even get to Act 4 and we'll find out. Uh, but this is 
Path of Exile. I'm Eki. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next video.